following you behind. That's what I want to talk about this evening. Who is what? You, who is behind you? Who is behind you? Who is behind you? Look at your back. Who is behind you? Our sister Abby. Then apart from her, who is behind you? Amen. What if Jesus is not behind you? What happens? There will be what? Problem. Eh? Yes. But anybody that is behind you, that is not for your glory and your protection, Holy Ghost, that's what we'll do this night. Amen. Amen. In that text of scripture is a text that we know too well. Exodus, following from Exodus 12, when God came down on the land of Egypt and then made a command that Israel must go, and then they celebrated the Passover and they left. That Passover changed the story of the Israelites and the mystery of salvation. When God said, when I see the blood, I will pass over what? Over you. And then he killed all the first sons in the land of Egypt. And so Pharaoh's hand was forced to let the Israelites go. And then they, they departed. In Exodus 14, now, if you go back to Exodus 14, verse 1, following, God was directing the movement. He said to Moses, tell the people to turn around from where they were heading, that they should face the place called Megiddo. That was going to be the movement. Instead of moving in a straight course, that will lead into where they were going. The Lord said to Moses, let the people tell the Israelites to turn back and camp in front of Pilhariot between Megiddo and the Red World Sea, near a place called Baal Zephon. Now, that instruction from God put confusion or worry on the head of the Israelites because they were to be confronted by the river. It was just like leading them to a dead end where there is no route to pass. That was what the Lord said. Then, but that was God's plan. God's divine plan for glorifying his name the more. Because there it says that the king will think that the Israelites are wandering around in the country and are closed in by the desert. Praise the Lord. Certain experiences in your life, your enemy will think that you are finished. I have finished him. I have finished her. And so they will come after you. That was God's tactics. That's a divine strategy for victory. And I pray that God will give somebody here the divine strategy for victory tonight in the name of Jesus. And that instruction from God guided them. And then he said, I will make him stubborn. And he will pursue you. And my victory over the king and his army will bring me what? Honor. God will do something in your honor. God will do something for your victory. And your victory will give honor to the name of God that you worship. In the name of Jesus. Then the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. The Israelites did as they were what? Told. Sign of God. Daughter of God. Daughter of Zion. Always follow the instruction of God. When God gives instruction and you follow it, it helps you to victory. Now, it is important for us to know at this point that the Lord had one honor for himself the first time. And what was it? The killing of all the firstborn sons in Israel, in Egypt. And then proving himself as the God of the, Egypt, of, the, of the Israelites. But that was not the end. Now, when you solve a problem, when you solve a problem without solving the root of the problem, what happens?
what happens? I can't hear you. It will do what? Come again. Okay? Now, God had solved a particular problem in the life of the Israelites. And what was it? Their hunger for freedom and liberation has been granted. And then, their slave masters were still alive. The commander who gives the instruction, kill them, punish them, arrest them, is still alive. And that is Pharaoh. God only dealt with the households by killing the first sons of the Egyptians. So that Pharaoh's hand will be broken and weakened. And then he will let the children of Israel go. But Pharaoh was the architect of the world. Problem with his officials. And so, the second phase of God's dealing with the problem of the Israelites was to deal with the source of the problem, and that was Pharaoh. So, at this point, the divine strategy for victory, for total victory, was to be what? Accomplished. When he said to Moses, tell the people to do what? Turn back. So that they will think that you are lost in the desert, and then I will act. Amen. Divine mathematics. Eh? Can you tell your devil, divine mathematics will work for you this season. In the name of Jesus. And when that happened, Pharaoh, Pharaoh fell to the trap. Now, when that divine mathematics was executed, what happened? Pharaoh did not return. The chariots did not what? Return. The army, the best army of Israel did not what? Return. They perished in the river. Amen. When Israel finally passed that stage, you will never hear again that the army of Egypt came after them. And child of God, I pray for you that God will do that for you again. The Pharaoh behind you, you will not hear again. They will not come after you again. In the name of Jesus. My dear friends, when God's eye is on you, and the enemy is fighting you, he's making a mistake. Because you are a divine project. Tell yourself, I'm a divine project. Huh? Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you're a divine project? Yes. Tell your friend you are a divine project. Yes. For 2022, yes. you are a divine project. Yes. And until God accomplishes that project, nothing will stop it. Yes. No human power will stop it. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Your destiny, you will arrive in safety. In the name of Jesus. See, Pharaoh gave a command. He forgot something. And that thing he forgot is what the Lord says in Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter what? Amen. I'd like us to look at that text. Exodus chapter 3 from verse 1. Amen. There the Lord, the word of God says, one day, while Moses was taking care of the sheep and the goats of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian, he led the flock across the desert and came to Sinai, the holy mountain. Amen. That's the place of encounter with God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him as a flaming as a flame coming from the middle of, the, of a bush. Moses saw that the bush was on fire, but it was not burning up. And so he went closer. This is a strange experience. Amen? Amen. 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 Child of God, can I hear you say amen? amen? 2022, strange divine things will happen in your life. There will be a divine meeting for you. 
He thought, why isn't the bush burning up? I will go closer and see. That's what his thought. Let him find out this mystery that is unfolding before him. When the Lord saw that Moses was coming closer, he called to him from the middle of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. He answered, yes, here I am. He said, stay back. Don't come closer. God said, don't come any closer. Take off your sandals because you are standing on a holy world ground. Child of God, you stand on a holy ground tonight. Everything following you behind into this place. Holy Ghost. See, the devil is in trouble. Oh. Because you are a divine project, the devil is in what? Trouble. Amen. Amen. He told Moses, don't come closer. Take off your shoe. And he did. And then the Lord said to him, I am the God of your ancestor, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So Moses covered his face because he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, Praise the Lord. Now this is what Pharaoh and his people did not know. The Lord said, I have seen how cruelly my people are being treated in what? I have heard them cry out to be rescued from their slave drivers. I know all about their what? Suffering. Child of God, God knows about your suffering. God knows about your cry. God knows about your sleepless nights. God knows about what you are going through that is not, God is not responsible that there is a hand of wickedness that is following you behind. God knows. So at this moment, God was telling Moses, in fact, the, the good news, um, Christian, new Christian community Bible will use the word. God said, I have seen the humiliation of my people in Israel. God has seen the humiliation you are going through or even the humiliation that you have gone through in the past and his time, his chirurgic time had come to say your time of liberation is what? Now. Amen. And so he said to Moses, then I have come down to do what? Rescue them from the world, Egyptian, and to bring them out of Egypt to a special land, one which is rich and fertile, and in which the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites now live. Another obstacle, but God will take care of that obstacle in front for you. When God decides to make you his own and to work for you, he will go ahead of you and clear the way. I have indeed heard the cry of my people and I see how the Egyptians are oppressing them. Every hand that is oppressing you by the grace of God shall be broken in the name of Jesus. So my dear friends, this Pharaoh did not know. This, the Egyptians did not know. If they had known, they would not go after the children of Israel when they said, let them go. Amen. Amen. You are a divine project. Anybody pursuing you this year? Eh? Anybody pursuing you this year? You will see the end of this year. But the person will collapse. And you will be going. In the name of Jesus. And so my dear friends, when the Israelites had set on this mission... Pharaoh had everything and said, no, I have made a mistake. Your liberation will be like a mistake to somebody. Your success will be like a nightmare to somebody. Your transformation will be like a surprise to somebody. They will say, when did it happen? You will then say, like the psalmist who say, when the Lord delivered Zion, it seemed like a what? Amen. I don't know anybody that is planning for you, but 
child of God, I have a good news for you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is what in the world. God, see there are some of us here. God has established your liberation in the spirits. If you are still afraid, I tell you stop being afraid. Your liberation has been established. All you need to do is to rise and walk into it. There may seem to be obstacles on the way, but be confident that there is someone shedding the light upon you. In the name of Jesus. the liberation of the Israelites. They wanted to cut short their departure and their glory. They, he brought out the best of his army, 600 in number, and came after them. But he could not stop them because God had already decreed that they, they had, the time of liberation has come. I want to take you to a little place somewhere in the scriptures, precisely in Mark's Gospel chapter 9. There you meet the young man who was sick. He was being possessed by unclean spirits. For that the young man, what followed him was an evil spirit. Wherever he went, that spirit followed him. It would disgrace him. It would throw him into water. It would throw him into fire. The father brought him to the disciples of Jesus to cure. But they could not do that until the arrival of Jesus. What follows us, especially from the negative power, when there is a negative power energy that is following you, it is not for your growth. That spirit that was following that young man wanted to smoke life out of him. He did not want him to have any life at all. All it was bent to was to destroy this young man. But at the instance of Jesus, he was set free. Bad energy. There are some of us, we are moving and moving, but something keeps following you. You cannot explain, but child of God, there is a plan God has enacted for you and I. And that plan, the word of God says, is of what? Good. That's why in Psalm 23, it says, the Lord prepares a table for me in the sight of my foes. He has anointed my head with what? oil. There is oil of favor on your head. 
But what that bad energy, every pharaoh spirit that is after you is stemmed out to dry the oil of favor that is upon your head. The oil of liberation that is upon your head. But God has made it that you shall be a child of favor. You've got to rise to the consciousness that there is a greater force that is one with me. When Israel got to the Red Sea, it was dark. It seemed dark that there was no way out. And so when they, they had to turn to God, and then the Lord spoke to Moses and he said to them, Tell the children of Israel to be still. Focus. Be focused. Don't allow what is behind you to distract you. Many of us are distracted by the force that is coming behind. You do not need to see them. You do not need to be cowed to submission by that force behind you. By what has happened in the past that is making you feel that the future is not assured. There is an assurance from God. God in that moment gave a command for the pillar of fire to change position. Amen. Amen. I want to paint this picture. Have you traveled in the evening? You're going. All of a sudden, the cloud begins to gather, threatening to rain. Have you had that experience before? And then the bright weather gradually begins to do what? Get dark. Even sometimes before the rain begins to drop, the cloud is so dark that if you're driving, you will put your headlamp to see the way. Have you ever seen that before? You will see storm blowing everywhere, leaves falling, breeze. it happens that way you will now see the breeze blowing and blowing and all of a sudden there is a sudden darkness you now put on your headlights to move on without the headlight it becomes difficult for you to move and then gradually the rain will begin to fall and when it begins to fall the cloud will be doing what will be clearing this was exactly, or even sometimes during the rainy season, maybe as Nepal took lights now, there are certain kind of darkness we experience in such moments that the light goes off. The darkness is an unusual word, darkness, that you cannot see through. I don't know, have you felt that, that kind of experience before? It will seem as if you are touching the darkness. You, your sense will be like you can touch the darkness as thick as something. Now, this is what happened at that instant when there was a change of position. Everybody say change of position. The pillar of fire changed position from the front and went back. And when it went back, it caused light in front of the Israelites. But it caused a deep darkness behind them such that no matter how close the Egyptians were, they could not see them. Amen. Amen. Do you understand me? Now, I want you to imagine that change of position. When that change happened, Israel could see their way, but the Egyptians could not see their words. Even if they were very close, they would not know that they have gotten close. 
Amen. That's what I pray for you this night. The pillar of God's glory will change position behind you. To cause a barricade between you and any force that is following you tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. This afternoon I was thinking of this particular change of position. And the thing that came to my mind was that the Israelites kept on moving. Sorry, the Egyptians kept on moving in the darkness until they found themselves in the river. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? It's like you are riding a bicycle on top of the mountain and you get to a steep in the mountain. And you kept on going, you don't know that there is a valley there. All you do, do is that you do what? You fall in and you do what? Scatter. You break your bones and your legs. Every spiritual force that is following you that way. Not fire this time. They will follow you and follow you. You will cross over. They will jump in and they will perish. In the name of Jesus. See, God has given us an assurance. In Exodus chapter 33, he said to Moses, he said to Moses, my glory will go with you. From verse 12, he said, my glory will do what? Go with you. My presence will do what? Go with you. God was going to back them. And when God backed them, victory became their, their song. Their song changed. From a song of complaint to a song of victory. Their song changed from a song of fear to a song of courage and confidence in the God who was leading them then. And the Egyptians were just dying and dying. Pharaoh died. Every Pharaoh spirit that has vowed that you will not survive, that Pharaoh spirit will die in the name of Jesus. Some families, what is following your family is stagnation, stagnation, stagnation. No father grows, no father has ever achieved buying a car. The first son has managed to buy a motorcycle. He has started a building, but he cannot complete. You have stepped, anybody that wants to cross that stage goes down. Something following you. A power and a force that you cannot explain. That force and that power can only be taken away by God. Who is following you? Who is after you? See, I want to share my anointing and my blessing with you tonight. If in your family... Nobody has ever bought a car. You will buy a car. That barricade will be broken. I say it will be broken. It will be broken. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I am a priest of God. And I have God's anointing for success. Anointing for breakthrough. Anointing for growth. You shall shear and break that jeans that is holding your band in the name of Jesus. That's what I want to communicate to you this night. I want to transfer anointing to you so that you will share in it and have a breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. God will break, will enable you break through this season. In the name of Jesus. When Pharaoh, Pharaoh and his army drowned in that river, that was the end of the story. Israel crossed over and what was it? Jubilation. Everybody say jubilation. jubilation. Say jubilation for me. Jubilation. 2022 is my year of jubilation. Yes. Moses' sister Miriam and Aaron led the people through a victory dance and everybody was in yori, 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 yori. They started dancing. Because the victory of God had brought them to that point. Their song changed. The people who complained 
looked back and they saw that there was no more Egyptian following them. So shall you look back without seeing any Egyptian in the name of Jesus. Child of God, I don't know what your own consciousness is. There is a divine consciousness that is with you. Sometimes we do not perceive it. Amen. There is a divine consciousness following you. But sometimes we allow that divine consciousness to fizzle out from us. Because of what we are going through and the experiences we have. In 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 11 the king of Aram came out against Israel to fight them and to subjugate them. They sat in their council and they decided to invade Israel. Before they set out on that journey the man of God, the prophet of God in Israel in the person of Elisha will hear the message. And before they arrive to execute their plan, the Israelite army will know about it. And then they will forestall their plans. It happened the first time. It happened the second time. It happened like that and it kept on happening and happening. And then this man said started accusing his officials that who is he that is betraying them? Who is the traitor among them who passes on their plans to the Egyptians? And some of his officials said, nobody is doing that. But there is a man in Egypt, in Israel, the prophet of God, who is the eye of the people, who is the eye of the government, who is the eye of the king of Israel who reveals your secrets to them even before it happens. And he said, what is his name? He said, his name is Elisha, the prophet. And he resides in a place known as Dotham. And so he sent out men to go and arrest the prophet of God. Of course, he cannot arrest him. That is a misplacement. That is a misnomer. If Pharaoh could not stop Israel, Amen. If Pharaoh could not stop Israel, the king of Aram cannot stop Elisha. He cannot arrest Elisha. Amen. Before his arrival, the man of God had seen the army that he was sent. He stayed where he was, quiet, and was resting, and organized himself and went to sleep. So shall you go to sleep, child of God. Because the defender of Israel does not sleep. He slumbereth not or sleepeth not. Your God will keep watch over you. Over the enemy that is coming against you. God will keep watch over you. And in the night he arrived to Dothan where the man of God was. And surrounded him. Surrounded the place. The servant of Elisha woke up in the middle of the night. And he saw that they had been surrounded by armies and horses and chariots. And he ran to his master and he said, Master, master, wake up. There is trouble. Bro, I don't know who may have told you there is trouble. There is no trouble. No trouble. And the prophet of God laughed and said, Young man, go and sit down. He said, he don't. He said there is army everywhere. There are soldiers surrounding us. Amen. The prophet of God said, no problem. He said, Lord, open his eyes to see those behind us. He was giving a revelation of the glimpse of the soldiers of God that we are behind the prophet of God that had numbered those who had come for them. And he marveled. That's why I ask you this, man, this evening or this night, my dear friend, friends and children of God, who is following you and who is behind you? Do you know who is behind you? The chariot of heaven is behind you. And so the Pharaoh behind you will not catch you. 
And then the Lord prayed and put confusion in the eyes of the Aramean soldiers. They saw the man of God and they asked him question. We are looking for the prophet Elisha. And we don't know where he said. He said, come, follow me. I will take you to him. And he took them and took them to the king of Israel and handed them over to him and said, these are the enemy who have come. Child of God, anybody coming against you shall be confused. They will see you. They will not catch you. The lost angels will surround you. God will send his chariot of fire for you. You will be defended by the chariots of fire. Such that the chariots of the enemy that is coming against you, they will be confused the more in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, can I hear you shout a louder amen? If you believe it, can I see you stand up and praise the name of the Lord? Begin to praise the name of the Lord. That the chariot of God's fire will arise in your defense. Begin to acknowledge the chariot of God around you. Psalm 91 verse 11 says, He will send his angels. They will be about you. Child of God, I don't know who is following you. But tonight, we change that course of those following you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> was hiding because he felt there was a force greater than himself. He was hiding from the soldiers of the Midianites who came tormenting the Israelites. And he was hiding and walking in the meal. And the spirit of the Lord came to him where he was hiding and looked at him and said, you man of valor! You great man of valor! You champion of the Lord! And he said, no, I am nobody. The Lord said, shut up. I speak to somebody here, shut up this night to begin to downgrade yourself. You've been sent as a warrior for the entire family to liberate your family. Please, I just want one, one person on this line. One, one person on this line from that door. Just one person. I want a connection. I just need one, one person on this line. Keep going, friends. I said one person, one single line, please. Keep going. Please 
place your hand on the altar you front. Shoulder, move up, move back a little. Bosa, yes, you are the Lord. Go, 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 go. Bosa, yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Bosa, yes, you are the Lord. Just go back, go back. Go, 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 go. You are the matters. Jesus. You are the matters. Stretch back. Stretch I back, stretch back. make room for two. You are my Jesus. I want the light to you reach the door. You are the matters. I want the light you to reach the door. You are the matters. I want the light to reach the door.
Take over, take over, take over, take over, take over, take over, take over. I provoke your anointing right now. against you that you will not grow that you will not walk into glory that you will not walk into success let the yoke be broken let the chain let the chain be broken in the name of Jesus Lord I ask for a transfer you transferred Israel from slavery to freedom. Let many be liberated at this moment. Every follow, follow spirits. Every follow, follow spirits. Every follow, follow spirits. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Jesus, they are your own. Break that yoke, Lord. Let that chain be broken. Every chain that is connected to you right now, Lord, I lift your children now. Yahweh Mekadesh Kem. 
Yahweh Elion, the unchangeable changer, my Arakats Kondo, arise. You said, Call upon me on the day of trouble, and I will answer. The liberator of your people. You liberated Israel and you stood in the gap. Lord, I ask that you stand in the gap this hour. That every frustrating power and authority in so many of the families here, that those powers will be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, from person to person, let there be a transfer. 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 Amen. Move. Lord, let the yoke be broken. Amen. The yoke of stagnation be broken. That yoke that nobody in your house will ever com complete a house that is started. I transfer it to you. In the, I transfer power to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, by the anointing that you have given to me as a priest, I release that same anointing unto them. Anointing to do exploits. Anointing to travel from place to place for good pleasures. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anointing for breakthrough. Lord, if there is anybody here that in their family nobody has ever driven a car before. I transfer that anointing unto them that they shall drive a car in the name of Jesus. Amen. That they have never built a good house in their family. I transfer that anointing unto them in the name of Jesus. Amen. That there be a breakthrough. Any force on you right now that is limiting you. Let that force depart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, under the heavy anointing of this gathering tonight, let the yoke of backwardness be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can leave the person you are holding. Leave the person you are holding. I'd like you to lift up your hand. Tell the Lord that he liberated Israel and led them to their destiny. That he should lead you to your destiny. Begin to speak word of expansion to your destiny. Speak word of expansion to your destiny. The Lord says, he said to the Israelites, I will take you to a spacious land. A land that will give you space. A land where you will build. A land where you will occupy divine occupation. Divine occupation. Divine occupation. Jesus, you are my honor. Jesus, you are my honor. Jesus, you are my honor. 
Jesus, my honor. of expansion in the name of Jesus. Every stunted spirit, every pharaoh spirit, every decrease that is coming from the kingdom of darkness against you. Holy Ghost! The host of Egypt perished in the Red Sea. We raise the standard of the blood of Jesus. May every force that has come out heavily against your growth and your journey to your destiny 